everyone, it's me, X Canadensis, and I think like a week or two ago, I told you guys that I started watching Pretty Care and I was really enjoying it. And around that same time, I bought some really exciting dolls from Japan and I had them shipped to me. I believe I paid $70 for all of them, which is a really good deal. Did y'all know these dolls retail for like 30 to 40 US dollars in Japan? It's ridiculous. I'm not referring to like an import cost, I'm referring to the actual retail cost there. That's what it seems to be. It's a lot higher than I would expect. Um, but I'm watching this specific series of Pretty Cure, which is Star Twinkle Pretty Cure, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, and I know you guys have been asking me to watch Pretty Cure for a while, and so yeah, I'm gonna show you the dolls that I got. And I'm on episode, I think, 29 right now out of 49 on Star Twinkle Pretty Cure, and I'm loving it. I can't wait to finish, um, first of all, because I'm just loving it, and I'd love to see how it ends. And second of all, because I really want to start the new series, Tropical Rouge Pretty Cure, but we'll get there. Anyway, so let's get these dolls out. I'm so excited! Um, they're really tightly bubble wrapped here. I think they're smaller than I thought they were, but they look to be really high quality dolls. It's weird though. I've been looking for like reviews of them and stuff because I thought from the outside looking in, Pretty Cure looked like this really big community with like a lot of, or looked like it had like a really large, even just an English speaking, but in general community online. And it doesn't really seem like it does, which is a shame. Um, oh my God, I can already see them. They look so good in here. Ah! Okay, um, let me find the opening. This is one of those like, yeah. Let's get them out, let's get them out. Okay, so the first doll is Madoke here, or Kira, Sol Kira Selene, or Selene. I don't really know if I should pronounce it like Selena, or Selene, or S Selene, because <laughs> they pronounce it Selene in the show. But anyway, here she is. So I believe I have them all complete, minus their pens, or whatever other accessories they came with. I'm thinking Cosmo might, when I bought these, I hadn't seen Cosmo in the show yet. Um, but Cosmo might have come with her perfume or something, I'm not sure. So here is my first one. We got Madoka. And wow, the hair is soft, first of all. I wasn't sure what to expect because I've never had a Playline doll from Japan before. Um, and they don't seem like they do a lot of Playline. They have the uh, Lika Chan dolls, they have these, and they have like a few others, but it doesn't seem like, especially for Pretty Cure, they don't make dolls for every season, it's weird. And these are Bondi, and I've had Bondi dolls for international release in the past and they weren't the best, but these look so good. So here she is. Um, here is Kira Celine, and she's absolutely beautiful. The thing that really drew me into Star Twinkle and the reason I started with it was the art style. I think it is absolutely exquisite. And wow, the colors on this doll really, really pop. I love that she has the little brooch and the little pouch for her little pen. I believe they did come with their pens, but mine don't have them. I could have bought the doll's new inbox for a little more, but I chose to go this route. Um, and I got a really good deal anyway, so I'm happy about it. She has, I believe this might have also been a curl at some point, which I should be able to fix. And this doll's just in remarkable condition. It seems like her skirt is a little, it's very fray at the bottom, but that's totally fine. Um, looks like it used to actually have a hem, but it has come off. We'll, we'll, we'll see if we can fix that. It's not bugging me too much though. And then she has her little boots with her flowers on them. I think this design is overall pretty accurate to the show, although like, I don't study the looks that hard unless I make the costume, so I'm not overly picky about it. I think she represents the character really well and she looks absolutely beautiful. So by the way, let me know who your favorite character is if you've seen the show or just which doll is your favorite. You could just say like what color they represent, like this is the purple cure. All right, so I'm going to set her down. I was gonna go get Stan, sorry, I totally forgot to do that. Um, and next is Cure Soleil or Soleil. They say like Soleil in the show. So here she is, and this is Miss Elena. And I love this character because I've never seen a um, girl from Mexico in Japanese media before as like a prominent character, a main character especially. I thought that was so cool. Um, especially as a magical girl, I just think that's awesome. She is mixed, she is um, Mexican and Japanese. And I love her story, her like connection to her family and stuff is super cool. As someone who doesn't have a super close family, I always really enjoy seeing uh, characters represented with really healthy, wonderful families like that. Um, and she also has her little pouch and her little brooch, and she's super cute as well. I love Elena. I think she's my second favorite. You'll see my favorite and you'll see why she's my favorite. Um, and she's super cute. They actually have different boot molds, which is pretty cool. Um, 
if it was an American doll line, they would have just reused them because they're close enough. And again, the hair is so soft. I wonder what material it is. It feels, it doesn't feel like nylon. I don't know. It could be nylon, just a grade that I'm not used to. And she has her little headband. And I love that I, I hadn't met this cure, these two cures either when I bought the dolls, so I didn't look too closely at them. Um, I just, after a couple episodes, I knew that I was gonna love this show, so I went ahead and bought the dolls. And I'm, I'm loving it so, 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 so much. But anyway, when I started seeing her transform, I was like, I really wonder how they did the crown, but I didn't want to spoil it for myself, so I didn't go look again at the dolls that I bought. And I'm thoroughly impressed. I think it's just, yeah, it's, so it's basically a hole in her head, um, like an earring. You could just pull it right out. That's pretty cool. I wonder how this, the Sailor Moon dolls just have like a thing, right? Like a headband that you pull down. Well, I guess there's a million different Sailor Moon dolls. Um, and then she has little earrings, which so does Selene. And now we're going to get away from the ones that I cannot pronounce. <laughs> um, she's so, I can't get over the hair, it's so soft. And she's absolutely perfect. I have no, um, there's no like, you, like I can't tell this doll's used, unlike this one with the skirt being a little bit torn, but that's totally fine. And she's gorgeous. So I'm gonna sit her down now and we're gonna get out the third doll in here, which is Cure Cosmo, who I got these dolls two days ago and I couldn't do the review yet because Cure Cosmo hadn't revealed herself yet. Obviously I'd been seeing the episodes with Blue Cat and stuff, but um, I hadn't gotten to meet Blue, um, Cure Cosmo yet and I didn't wanna do a video about a character that I hadn't met yet, or including a character that I hadn't met yet as if I had, so. Um, let's see her. And I love her so far. She's a really cool character. And I really like the different dynamics she has. Although, ever since she's been introduced, we've gotten almost nothing of these two. They are just in the background. They did kind of have a... In the little slumber party on the spaceship episode, they did have, like, cute little moments. But I was really disappointed... I'm really disappointed so far that they're being completely shafted. But I understand. It's because this character, her arc is obviously very important to the story and probably the conclusion as well. Oh, I love how they did the little hat on her ear. I was worried about that. I was actually worried about the ears, and the ears are really cute. They're just a little ribbon headband with felt ears on them. And the hat, I love the part in the transformation where she draws the little hat on, so that's super cute. Her hair is super messy. I'm gonna have to fix that. Um, obviously, I bought these used, but that's not the company's fault. Um, it's really good hair quality again, and it's just, I'll need to rebraid it, but I can't figure out how to make braids look like this. Mine are always, I'll show you. My braids always turn out really flat, um, and I can't get them to look around like that. Is it like a technique thing? Can you see? I don't know, I have like brown hair. And I always get tangled at the bottom like this. Um, but you see, that's what my braids look like. They're always kind of flat like that. What's the deal? Because I would love to redo doll braids, but doll braids are always circular like this. Anyway, um, she has her tiny little capelet thing, and her gloves are super... <laughs> Oh, the little mitten gloves. I, I truly wish, I don't mind that they're not articulated. Articulated, I get it, because they're, these are probably for a pretty young demographic, but I really wish this specific one had an articulated arm because she's always doing this in the show and I find it so cute. Um, love her little outfit and she has the big poofy skirt. She doesn't have the little purse to put um, your, your pen in, but she never has a pen generally. No, she, she has her own little princess pen, but she never has, like, the extra pens like the other girls have, so maybe that's why. I don't remember if that's part of her design or not. If it is, mine is just missing it. Um, and she probably came with the perfume as her extra accessory, but I don't have the extra accessories. It's fine, though. Um, super cute. Love the little rainbow spectrum skirt. An homage to her home planet and her little um lace underlayer on a skirt and then the tool here super cute really well done actually i'm really shocked by the so not shocked sorry i'm really impressed by the the fine details see so why were the bondi miraculous dolls looking the way that they did when bondi can like bust this out out of nowhere you know um and then here's her little tail i was also worried that they wouldn't do the tail which i shouldn't have been because these are japanese dolls not american dolls um <laughs> and then here's her little boots She's really cool. I love especially that they did the little ponytail pieces. I wouldn't have minded um, if they hadn't because I get it. It would have been kind of difficult, but oh, gosh, she looks so good. I truly wish, it seems like dolls are completely not the emphasis with these characters, which I honestly always thought this was one of those like, kind of like Winx. Winx wasn't made to make dolls, but it like naturally is a doll franchise. I thought Pretty Cure was going to be the same way, but it seems like it honestly isn't. These are the only dolls for the season. And then there's also 
mostly there's just figures, like there's these little candy figures and stuff. That seems to be the emphasis of Pretty Cure franchise as of now. They do all get dolls now, I think. These, this season was from 2019. Anyway, my favorite is Cure Milky. I'm so excited about her. Oh my God, Lala is my favorite character. It's not really fair because she's green and an alien has cute elf ears, but oh, I wanna see if she, oh. They don't have the elf ears. I wonder if Lala will. That's totally fine though, I get it. They're just using the existing head mold. Um, oh, that would have been the extra mile. All right, let's get Lala out. I, oh, sweet. I was worried about how they would do the um, her little feelers and of course they did them. They seem to actually, oh, okay, they're attached to the headband. Oh, so cute. I can imagine like a collector doll if they did like a pull up or something, she would have like wire feelers so that you can move them around. But this is so cute and works really well, especially cause they kind of do flop around in the show quite a bit when she's moving around. Oh, that's so darling. Oh, and of course she has her brooch and pouch as well. And she has her tiny little, um, they're not gloves. They're just like wrist puff things. I don't know. And her outfit is darling as well. She has this like cellophane material. Oh, the big bow is on the back. They actually did it. I'm just shocked, honestly. And then the sock is really cute. It's made out of, um, like a, a knit material. And it looks really good. There's actually a piece of somebody else's skirt there. Um, and her little shoes, hers are a little bit more banged up than the others, but it seems like, um, I know the first four, or I think the first four are released at the same time, and then this one's like the super like, ooh, look, the fifth Pretty Cure has been revealed. That's what it seems to be. I'm just, I'm following as the Tropical Rouge dolls are coming out, but I'm not sure. Um, but she's probably the one that's been owned the longest, and that explains all the paint issues, but that's not one of the, I collect used vintage dolls generally, so I don't care. Um, and her hair also is super soft. It's styled very well. It just needs to be a little fixed. I believe she's supposed to have the longer piece and that's what this is going for, which is really impressive that they did that. And her eyes are, Brett's waking up if you heard that. <laughs> it's 8 a.m. Um, her eyes are super cute. I love the style of the faces. They're super precious. And she also has the little earrings. I'm just really impressed that like every detail was taken into consideration. So cool. So there is Cure Milky. And then last, we have the main character. This is Pure Star. Let's get her out of here. Hi, I'm Hoshina Hikaru. I'm gonna draw what I want with my imagination. I don't know if they have an English dub, I'm just doing the, <laughs> in the subs, they're like, the subtitles are adorable. All right, so here is Cure Star. And she is the main character, so I'm not surprised that she has a lot of little extra bits like these shiny stars and she also has the big bow on the back just like her best friend I love her magical girl outfit it is very like a generic magical girl outfit but it has its own really sweet elements that bring in the character and her love for space and imagination and constellations I love the little um hair ties and I'm glad they did them she's supposed to have little things on the end of her ponytails um maybe they did come with the original doll and they're just not on this one I'm not sure and she has her little sock as well. There's, I thought there were three characters that have the little sock, but maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe it's just the two. Um, very cute. And her shoes are a little bit dinged up as well, but they look really, really good. And again, they're a different mold, even though they're super similar. So that's really impressive to me. Um, I've just been, I've just been betrayed so many times by American doll releases, you know. Um, and then. Her little petals on her skirt. I'm shocked she doesn't have a crinoline of some sort because all the other girls actually do have some sort of um, like fluff under their skirt to make them puff out if they're supposed to. Or I guess this one doesn't. So these two don't have the crinoline under their skirt and it does, they're supposed to have the bigger skirts that like puff out more. So it kind of draws away from their design. So, but you could easily add crinoline in if you wanted to. Um, and it doesn't really take away that much. It's still a really adorable doll. And they, they do actually sell these little extra like kits that you can buy that are like better, fancier outfits. Maybe those show up in the show and I just haven't seen them yet. I'm not sure, or I'm not paying attention and that's one of the power-ups. I really don't know. Um, but yeah, here's Q Star. I love these. I'm so glad I got them. They're so cool. I was really scared to start watching Pretty Cure because I knew I would have to have the dolls, but I'm really happy that I did because it's really good. I didn't expect it to be this good. Sometimes I, have to like 
suspend my adult brain and be like, you know what, I'm watching a kid's show. A lot of seasons of Winks do this to me. Um, I'm watching a kid's show. Lower your standards. It's not gonna be, like, but there's no reason that kid shows can't be fantastic, and I think the, at least the season of Pretty Cure that I'm watching is uh, the proof of concept there because it's so good. It's so good. I'm loving it so much, and I'm so... These stand on their own easily. I'm standing these on their own easily. Just just wanted to let you know. Um, so if you're one of those people as well that's been um, not watching Pretty Cure and you want to give it a try, I highly recommend you just pick a season just to look through the list of titles and see if one appeals to you um and hopefully you'll be glad you did as well if you have a favorite season let me know which one it is and why just please don't spoil anything so that i can enjoy it um i'm really excited to start tropical rouge that's gonna be the next one that i watch but after that i'm open to ideas i i watched a, quite a bit of the first season of it and it didn't appeal to me as much the first, I mean, the first, like, ever Pretty Cure series, that's what I meant, not season, sorry. Um, I really liked the designs, and I liked the concept, but it turned very Monster of the Weeky very fast, and this show's the same way. Sometimes I'm like, ugh, when the Not Raiders show up, but overall, I've been really enjoying it, and the themes are fantastic, and even if the fight scenes are lackluster, I've noticed that a lot of the fight scenes are kind of lackluster, um, they always have some really cool message coming through, because they're, most of the fight scenes in this show are like arguing with the not raiders which is fine it reminds me a lot of winks the way the winks fight where they just kind of say something and then go eh, and then the enemies go oh, no and then they say something back you know that's what the fight scenes in this are like so if you're into like the super good fight scenes it seems like the show is not for you and i i've been reading reviews non-spoiler reviews and it seems like that's the main critique is that pretty cure apparently always has really really dope fight fight scenes in this series does not. Um, I did get the the episode involving this one, one of the important episodes involving this one, the early one, like when she first gets to transform and stuff. Sorry, I can't not spoil her because this character is right here, um, but I'm trying. <laughs> um, but anyway, there's a very important turning point in this ep in this character, and there's a there's a big fight scene in that one that's really important, and the animation is fantastic in that one. But it seems like they didn't really either they didn't have a budget or they just did not put the emphasis on it before that but that's totally fine um i'm gonna go i would i could talk about this forever but maybe i should just save that for like a live stream or something i don't know um let me know which one of these is your favorite even if you don't know anything about the show or anything i would just be interested to know i think the one let me look at them i want to decide which one's just the best doll objectively not based on which one's my favorite character honestly i think it's elena I think Elena looks really, really good. I think she's absolutely beautiful. Um, I think she translated into doll form super well, and I really, really like her. Um, she's like, she's like my second favorite character, I think. These three are my favorites. It's like not fair though, because they don't give Monica any screen time. Um, there was this really cool dynamic with her and her dad that I'm not gonna spoil, but she just makes this really lame excuse and it just, uh, it's just like okay that's over it was like that was actually a really really interesting dynamic y'all could have gone with and you just decided that it wasn't interesting and just gave up on it I was really disappointed in that so she kind of falls into the um the background character realm but when you have five characters and you're trying to give them all a lot of screen time that happens Lala has been getting the um the background character treatment around the part of the season that I'm in right now and it's making me really sad um I'm really gonna go this time <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching for real this time. Bye!